G'day guys, hope everyone's doing well today. Um, today we're doing another camp cooking thing, but obviously we're not camping again, so it's another front yard cooking session. Anyway, we'll be doing a Penang curry today. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first thing you'll need is two onions, three carrots, two potatoes. Now you can either use, I'm using Desiree's, but you could use any potato you wanted here. A large capsicum, ginger and garlic, Penang curry paste, Two tins of coconut milk. Now I'm using light because Woolworths stuffed up. I usually use full strength, but um, either loads fine. Jasmine rice, soy sauce, peanut butter, a lime, and some brown sugar. All right, and last but not least is your protein. So today I'll be using beef, um, but you could quite easily substitute that for fish or chicken if you wanted to. All right, so first thing you want to do is get your camp oven on and heating up. Um, and we're going to sear off the meat first as soon as that's hot, so center that. Throw a little bit of oil in there, I'm just using veggie oil, but any neutral oil will work fine. Uh, and while we're waiting for that to heat up, we'll start cutting up the veggies. Alright, now the oil's hot, as you can quite clearly tell, uh, we'll go ahead and sear off our meat. be able to hear that sizzling away. Now basically we just want um, a good sear on all this, get it nice and brown, uh, adds a lot of flavour to the dish. Alright, now that meat's all seared off, um, we'll just get that out and just put it on a plate to the side for now. I'll just turn that heat right down low for a second. Now just add a little bit more oil to that, um, just to get ready for all our veg to fry off. So once you've got all your vegetables cut up, um, you can turn the heat back up on this a bit, get it quite warm. That's warm now. So now we'll add the capsicum, the onion, and the, um, the carrot, uh, and we'll add the potato in a couple of minutes. So we'll let those three get a bit of colour first. Alright cool, we'll let that fry for a couple of minutes and while we're doing that, we'll start getting the rice ready now. So, uh, I'm going to be cooking jasmine rice and we'll be doing the absorption method. So basically, you want a cup of rice to one and a quarter cups of water for jasmine rice. Normal rice, if you do it this way, you want one and a half cups of water, but jasmine, because uh, it's a bit softer, you use a lot less water when you cook it. So I'm going to be cooking one and a half cups of rice today. Uh, a lot of people say you need to wash rice. Um, it does help remove some of the starchiness, but uh, when you're camping, it's kind of annoying to have to dirty something else just to wash some rice, so don't bother with it. It's one and a half cups of rice, so now we need just under two cups of water for that. Add the potatoes to that veg. Alright, so just swirl the rice around, 
Uh, give it a quick stir, just hydrate all the grains of rice. Then put it on the heat. Now you want to put that on the heat uncovered until it comes to a boil. As soon as it comes to a boil, put the lid on, drop the heat down to medium, medium low, and let that simmer away for 12 minutes. Um, after that, we'll turn the heat off completely and leave it for another 10 to steam. So we'll do that while we're cooking the rest of this. The veg is getting a bit dry, so I'll add a little bit more oil to that. We'll turn the heat right down for a minute. Okay, so to this now I'm going to add garlic. Probably about two tablespoons of garlic. Uh, about two tablespoons of ginger, that came out very quick. And then about two tablespoons of this curry paste. Probably more like three actually. So now stir that all through your veggies, you get all your veggies coated in that. Um, fry off the garlic and the ginger and the curry paste for a minute and that'll really bring out the flavour of the curry paste a lot. So now get your coconut milk ready now. And also my rice has just come to the boil. So now I'm going to turn the heat down. Bang a lid on that and we'll let that cook for 12 minutes. Um, as soon as that 12 minutes is up, we'll kill the heat. All right, so they've had a minute or two. So now I'm just gonna add the coconut milk. Give that a stir. And see how that looks. If you reckon it needs a bit more liquid for the amount of people you're feeding, this should feed for comfortably. But um, if you'd like to stretch it a bit far, like further, you could easily do that. So I'm just going to throw in a little bit of water. So. Add the meat back in. And then I'm just going to put the lid back on that now. And basically, once the rice is done, that should be perfect. And then we can add the final seasonings to that to make it really good. Alright, so it's been 12 minutes. Now, with your rice, to check it, if you put your ear up to it, you should be able to hear that water um, has stopped boiling away. Like, it'll, like, because what's hopefully happened by now is all the water has absorbed into all the rice, and now we're steaming it. Um, with just the residual heat. So if you listen to it, yep, I'm pretty sure that's good. So we'll turn the heat off on that now. Um, and also, we'll tint it up. Give that a stir. Perfect, we'll put the lid back on that and we'll let that cook for the rest of the time the rice is steaming for. Alright, so the timer has just gone off now, it's been steaming for 10 minutes. 
So we'll have a look at it. Oh, beautiful. So. Yeah, it's really nice. Nice, fluffy rice. Now, if we take the lid off this. As you can see, that looks really good. So now, to finish this off, um, you need your lime, your soy sauce, your peanut butter, and your brown sugar. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and put about two tablespoons of peanut butter. Um, so we'll scrape the rest of that off with another spoon. So, Stir that in, and you should notice it'll start dissolving straight away, um, and it'll help thicken it up a bit as well, because as you'll notice it's a bit runny at the moment. You could also use um, one tin of coconut cream instead of coconut milk if you want to help make it a bit richer and a bit thicker, but with the rice, you don't really need it. All right, so once you've stirred that in, we will go ahead We'll start with half a lime, so we'll squeeze that straight in. Stir that through. And now this is where your brown sugar and your soy sauce comes in. So if you like it a bit sweeter, add more brown sugar. If you like it saltier um, or more savoury, add more soy sauce. So, I'm going to add probably about a tablespoon of each to start with. Give that a stir through and then taste it. Um, and then you can finish it off with salt and pepper to taste. Alright, so let's give that a taste. So I reckon that needs a little bit more brown sugar. So add another tablespoon, and I reckon it needs a little bit more lime juice as well. As you can see, that peanut butter's really helped thicken that up um, already from just that little bit of peanut butter. That's really good. All right, I'll serve one up. And there you have it, guys. So that's my super simple Penang curry recipe. Um, it's really easy to do, and it'll be sure to have the whole campsite wondering what you're cooking because it smells absolutely incredible when it's um, simmering away. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, drop a like down below and comment, and I'll make sure to get back to all of you. Thank you. See you in the next one.